Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a affordable everyday drugstore makeup look. Um, a lot of the products that I use like on my tutorial thus far have been kind of higher end products that are pretty pricey. So I wanted to dab into some makeup that you can get from Walmart, Dollar General even, or like, you know, Target, Walgreens. CBS, any drugstore that you go to you can get makeup and I'm going to be sharing the prices of all of them as I use them and at the end I'm going to total it up to kind of give you a perspective of how little you can spend with a full face of makeup from the drugstore compared to buying higher end products like what I've been using. So yeah, if you're interested in this video and want to see my full face everyday drugstore makeup look, then please keep watching. To start off, we're going to go in with this Believe Beauty Pretty and Primed Color Correcting Primer. I picked this up from Dollar General and this right here. I don't know, I feel like it was a little expensive. It was $5 just for how little it is, but we're going to go in with this to prime our face really fast. It's kind of like a green slime color. It feels really watery, but it primes the face, so I guess. Next, I'm going in with one of my favorite foundations of all time. You know I use this all the time. It is the Fit Me Maybelline. And I go in with the color Toffee. And then I mix a little sun beige in with it as well, just because one's a little lighter than my skin, one's a little darker, so mixing them is perfect for me. And then I just swirl it on the back of my hand, mix it all in. Oh, and the price of each one of these is $6. I picked these up at Dollar General months and months ago, so very affordable foundation. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Conceal Stick. It's fairly light on my skin, but it actually blends in very nicely. This concealer runs about $3.98 at Walmart is where I picked this up. I'm just gonna highlight my face with it. Like I said, it looks really light for me, but it blends out super nice. So now I'm just gonna take a wet beauty blender and dab it out. And to set our face, I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour. So this is a two for one. You've got the concealer or you can set with this shade right here and you contour with this shade right here. And this bad boy is $3.68. Yeah, that's cheap. So like I said, I'm just taking this banana shade right here and I'm just gonna go in and press it on everywhere I just concealed. I'm starting to dab into like non translucent shades because they're more brightening and I kind of like that. I've been using this to set my face recently or for a while I mean set my eyes. Now I'm gonna go back in with this other shade here and we're going to contour our face. I just lifted shoulders yesterday, so my arms are very sore doing this. And just to go in and set the, our whole face, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Translucent Powder. This whole big tub thing, it's got a lot of product in it. It was $7.89. All the other setting powders that I have are well over $30, around 40-ish to be honest. But I'm just go in and set our face really fast. For blush today, we are going with, in with the Rimmel London Maxi Blush. It's a pretty like subtle, I don't know, orangey color. I like it. It's pretty. And this blush is $4.28 at Walmart. Just kind of gives you a brightening up look. Moving in to our brows, I got the LA Colors Browy Wowie Brow Pencil. It's got a little spoolie at the end and then the product. 
And this was a whole $2 at Dollar General. Quite the bargain if I do say so myself. Next, we're gonna pop into some eyeshadow. This is the Wet n Wild color icon. This eyeshadow palette I got from Walmart and it was $4.98. Since this is an everyday look, we're just going to do something fairly simple. Not gonna get too cray cray. So to start off, I'm just gonna be going in with this little orangey shade and take that right into my crease. Now, these are super pigmented and I have learned that hard way. So start off small and just know you can always build your colors. Now I'm gonna take that same color and just take it all over the outer half of my lid. And then to go on in the inner part of our lid, we're going to take this kind of blushy shimmer color. We're gonna put it on the inner part of our lid just to give us a little bit of shimmer. And usually when I do like my everyday makeup, I don't do eyeshadow to be honest, but I just wanted to give you guys an option of an affordable eyeshadow palette that is very pigmented and pretty. So yeah, now I'm taking that transition color and putting it on our lower lash. And yeah, that was a simple, subtle eye look. Next for mascara, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Length Waterproof Mascara. This mascara, gives you volume like i can't even believe it it does leave a little bit of like marks on the skin or whatever so i'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of setting powder and put a little layer down so that it will be easily wiped off and this mascara was three dollars and 68 cents And for highlighter, you know I can't uh, not do highlighter. I did forget to buy highlighter. I don't know if I forgot or if I just didn't see any I wanted, but for highlighter, I'm gonna go back in with our eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna go into this really highlighty shade and highlight the heck out of our face, okay? And for lip gloss today, we're just going to go in with some LA Colors Moisturizing Lip Gloss. Not going to lie, I don't know how much I spent on this, but it's an LA Colors, so I don't think it was that much. And I don't remember when I got it, so I would say it's no more than $3. So an alternative to lip gloss or like anything for your lips, lipstick, whatever, I use chapstick a lot like when I'm just going to work or just going out to run errands I put chapstick on all the time so that just gives you your lips a little nice shine so yeah that is going to wrap up today's easy everyday affordable drugstore makeup all the products that I use today add up to be a total of less than $40 what I did full face makeup for less than $40. Just to put into perspective how affordable the $40 for my full face is, I'm gonna show you a few products. My Carly Bible Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, just my eyeshadow palette. I got this for $45. So just this palette is worth more than the products that I put on my face. My Becca Hydro Mist Set and Refresh Powder, this, not very much product, was $38. My favorite glow kit by Anastasia. You know, I use this almost all the time. Honestly, this has been a really good investment because I've had this for almost three years and it hardly even looks like I've used it. But all four of these shades and this kit, this was $40. One product that I use is more than what you would spend total for this full face drugstore look. Makeup is expensive, I ain't gonna lie. It's like an investment. You don't have to go out and buy high end products or expensive makeup to get an everyday full face glam of makeup. Like you can spend very minimal dollars at the drugstore or Walmart, whatever you wanna call it, and still get 
a good turnout like alrighty guys that's gonna wrap up today's video give this a thumbs up if you liked it if it helped you out if you want to see more of these um, I can do these fairly often because there's so many drugstore products out there that I haven't even tried and I would love to try so yes if you like it give it a thumbs up let me know I also am thinking about doing a braid tutorial. I love braids and I do them fairly often. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get in on all my future uploads and help support me and I appreciate it so, so much. And you guys are the best and I hope you have a great day, bye. This, it's, it's a good, it's good. So good. Three, three dollars and eighty. Mm -hmm. All the other, out of the year, just to give you more of a perspective of how much or how less or how inexpensive doing my full face with a four oh my god I cannot talk ah! I wanted to dab into um, some to some